Our top story tonight, more shocking numbers from the streets of San Diego. In the month of April, over 1,000 people were considered homeless for the first time, while over 700 found housing. The numbers simply not adding up, and that combined with the mental health crisis means 911 calls are increasing, and that is putting a strain on law enforcement. KUSI's Dan Plant, he is in Harbor Island with more on the shocking numbers. Dan, a sad story that sadly is not getting any better. Yeah, unfortunately, every day we wake up, it gets worse, not better. We always hope for better news the next day, but unfortunately, the numbers from April are absolutely astounding. You just said 1,141 people going out into the streets for the first time, whereas 714 actually found housing. Fabulous for those people who got off the streets and found housing. Not good at all for the 1,141 that went out there. As you might imagine, when you have this many homeless people living on the streets with the mental health issues, with the drug issues, and obviously desperation everywhere, well, you're going to get police calls. But unfortunately, the police can't always respond to these things, particularly when there are so many calls coming in on so many homeless issues. I got a chance to catch up with a variety of people who are involved in this particular issue. Take a look at what I found. For a city government that claims the homeless crisis is the number one priority, these latest numbers show a different story. In the month of April alone, 714 homeless people got off the street and found housing. That's the good part. Unfortunately, 1,141 people somehow became homeless for the first time, almost double the number of people getting out and that's just the month of April. And that's just downtown, and it's not going to stop because as the numbers released today show, more people are becoming homeless and are getting out of homelessness. Almost everywhere you go in San Diego these days, you will see things that will shock the senses. Serious mental health issues on display almost everywhere you go. In some cases, these people can turn violent and there's no choice but to call 911. But what happens when you call? Uh, to be honest, I don't call the cops. They won't come. And when they do come, all they're going to do is give them a ticket. And for me, that's not worth my time and my effort. In terms of pure numbers, the cops are outnumbered by the homeless in San Diego. Right now, about 1,800 active police officers with at least 4,000 homeless within the city limits. Unfortunately, the homeless population keeps growing and the police keep shrinking. Since 2020, we've lost over 500 officers from the San Diego Police Department. With that high of a turnover rate, we have a very, very junior police force. We're not filling our academies right now. And what's even more critical is that in 2025, we're scheduled to retire over 100 officers. And so right now, we need to be funding our recruitment and retention efforts more than ever. Make no mistake, this is a serious humanitarian crisis growing by the day on the streets of San Diego. Some of these people simply need a helping hand to get out. Others are suffering from serious mental health issues and drug abuse. At any time, they could lash out. We had a homeless person come in here and spit on my manager at the time, and I had to get in between them, and cops didn't show up till later that night and the next day. So, didn't help at all. Keep in mind the police answer to the mayor, and the mayor dictates police policy. Lately, the cops have been told to move the homeless camps here or there, taking their time from serious crime. Well, it's frustrating for me because I see the police over on the, you know, 10 or 12 officers on the other side of town, uh, standing around uh, moving people from one sidewalk to the other instead of responding to more priority calls you know if we're going to spend all our money just you know shuffling homeless people around so that it makes the mayor look good then the cops aren't going to be able to actually respond to the calls that actually matter. For a group of politicians that once talked about defunding the police, they have done an about face. This year, the department will have enough money to hire more officers. But with anti-police sediment surrounding City Hall and very little money for recruiting, San Diego police will be playing catch up for a long time. And that's why we've been asking City Hall for more recruiting dollars. Uh, right now in the city budget, they've, they've only given us $50,000 for the next fiscal year, which is actually a budget cut from last year. And we need to be recruiting more than ever. We need to be recruiting the best and the brightest to go out and serve our communities. 
All righty, so basically it is a game of numbers is what we're talking about right here. There are just so many people out on the streets, and there is the mental health crisis. There is the drug abuse crisis. As we know right now, all the drugs that are on the streets right now are laced with fentanyl coming from the cartels in Mexico, and that is creating absolute pandemonium out there. The bottom line on this is the police policies are handed down from the politicians. If you don't like the police policies, change the people you put in office. It's as simple as that. Uh, for some reason, I'm getting feedback on my ear, but go ahead and talk if you have any questions. Dan Plant, we will uh, definitely check back in with you at five. Just sad to see this already having a ripple effect on our officers. Thanks so much. Oh, yeah.